He's everywhere. He's you, he's me, he's everybody. But in this instance, he is in the image of Coco Pina. See? Now this is the map right here. That's where they're at right now. Right here. On the, the, the damn loader over there, see? here my mother was born my grandmother yeah. great-grandmother yeah. we're from the reservation there but we've been, uh, we've been here in Brian all these mountains see that's what is called Cali the three peaks that represents earth and I can go on and on and on these are our symbols that we can translate the good thing that we can translate it, see? Are they turning it up right now? They're turning it up right now. You want to go over there? Let's go. Let's take yeah. our chicken side. Come on. Right so we're going to have these spines. We're going to have these. Like, uh, you know, and, and the banner, the big banner that we have. So here's where we're at. We're going to go over here, too. Oh, you're taking one right now. Okay, okay let's go. From a big one, down to the Gulf of California, is where just the geoglyphs are. Geoglyphs are the designs on the surface of Earth where the Creator made his first trek. And there's his first foot right there. See, all this is like a blackboard. That's the way it's supposed to look. Like if you come in an airplane, they look it's just like a blackboard. But when you make all these designs, like over there, you're gonna, I'm gonna take you over. Hey, stop go. So when uh, you're gonna see that, where they already destroyed part of it. It has 11, these 11, uh, uh, 11 uh, rays there are part of the sun rays. Like I told you right now. Look at that. See, see, meat. Meat means magnetic north. But then you've been to Tupac Maze. Mm -hmm. Well, Tupac Maze is what we call Meatland. And that's where our spirits go. And that's why I said, if anybody has a, 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 a compass, I can tell you this goes straight to the Topak Maze. See? And they're going to block us in here. And we kick their books then. Hey, my, hey, there's a lot of bad energy. All my sage is just burning up like thick and fat. These were chipped because that's how we gave thanks back. But we don't know what the original rituals are. How can we? They brainwash us the hell out of us. They brainwash the hell out of us. So 
We don't know, but you see all these broken rocks. They're, they're, they're split and, and because that was part part of the, the ritual to give back. Now, I don't involve myself in that because uh, my thing is more of the historical part. All the birds are plastered the top. Fries them up and they die. Hmm. Now, I don't know if the eagle, because the eagle can stand a lot of uh, the eyesight, you know. Can you repeat this, that? What, what? What? What about the eyes and the birds? The, 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 the birds on all of these solar panel projects here in the desert, they don't survive if they go on top of it. They die. A friend of mine used to work there at Daggett. It's called Daggett, right beside the barstool. And he says all the birds would perish if they flew over the, the, the sites. So that's why we're totally uh, trying to stop all this. So the, 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 this is... And those, those solar panels, they... The, the sun, the bright, the, the stronger intensity of the sun, it tears them up. They don't, the lifespan on those. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, not, it's, it's just it's, like it's disposable. But they're, they're doing this, why? So they can get that fast track money. And that fast track stimulus money is uh, being uh, given to them by the companies, by, by Obama, because they're trying to say that we're, we're helping the, the environment. You think they're helping the environment by destroying our second sites? Nope. That's totally ridiculous. Now you gotta know a little bit about astronomy. The M in in the, in, in the, the, the Milky Way is called Casopia. It's a big W on in the cosmos. But then down here, it's a big M, and this big M represents the woman's breast. Now we know Sisimit is the image that takes our spirits to four places. And one of the places is right over the, around 75 miles from here. It's called Old Woman Mountain. The majority of us, we're going to go straight to Tupac Maze. Don't care where you're from. We're going to go to Tupac Maze. We call it Miklan. Miklan in Nahuatl means place where the spirits repose. They're videotaping us. Yeah. What's that? They're videotaping us. Definitely they're videotaping us. No, no, our friends over here. Uh huh. See what they're saying. Okay. Come on over here. Tell me to come here. Tell me to come here. This is your meat. This is the guy we saw. And this is Bigfoot. His name is Saskatchewan. Oh, wow. That's safe. And he's right here. And this is in Tosco. He descends, but we can't see the mountain over there. But I'll take you. If you come later or for a special day that we can just. Go and see these sites. This is Bosco. He descends from Tam Wan Chan. Where does he go? What what Chan? Chante? What do you say? What can I tell these guys? <coughs> huh? You know all about it. Chante. Tata. Descends. Moan means descend. Chante to your house. That's a tragic occasion, but it's wonderful for us because we met some allies. People that want to participate and know that we have to save these sites for future generations, not just so they can make fast track monies. But here we are seeing, I'm teaching them the evidence that we have here. So they won't say that they were in a book or an old man told them. No, they themselves are witnesses to this. So we want for them to carry like the hunchback, like Cocopili. Cocopili, he took his hunchback and he has that seven lines in the back because those seven lines represent the balance of Earth. Seven means balance. And seven means also the organs of the womb, the woman's womb. Where the, you birth. So that's why it's so important. But he's hunchback because he's got that knowledge. So the more you learn, you're gonna, it's gonna be a big load in your back. Anybody else has some words? Go ahead. Well, I'm here today because uh, uh, I studied a little bit of history and at the wrong place when I should have learned at school or at home. But I, le I learned our history in prison instead of learning it at school. And, I, and I'm, I'm here to get as much education and knowledge as I can so I can tell my kids the truth. And I'm a native of this land right here. The borderland don't mean nothing right here. 
they want to they want to mess up our land our history and we don't even got people that studied up on our history we don't even know the, the, the truth of the full meaning of it and uh and by doing this and stopping this if we can that's just one step closer to knowing the truth and that's how i feel and that's why i'm here today and i'm proud to be here today thank you oh this is Jesuit Patina. See the, how dark it is? And it's dark because it's got manganese stain. Now our ancestors, when it was a time to come, they would to fix them up. They would fix them up to make sure that they would be served. The, the people from the uh, University of Arizona in Tempe, they said that these are, are over 10,000 years old. So that's what we want. So, now I don't know what these mean. So we have to really uh, analyze it more and uh, get this. They made a, a, a road, a, a banner right there, where all this should be protected. All this should be, you know, with fences. That's what we're trying to raise some money. We're trying to raise some money so we can uh, have these sites, uh, the, the majority of the sites protected. Only we're just a small group uh, and we don't have no money. So we've been uh, totally... Uh, disregard it because there's no money the money is the one that and then the government does, doesn't pay attention to us and uh, we have brought people from the bureau of land management the archaeologists and anthropologists to come here and to, and they've been here in the sites but yet they, they they will not pay attention to us so it's just a mockery of the government saying the bureau of land management so it's just a, a bureau that's there for the company's wishes hey, this way right here I'm going to go with them. Show your banner. Show them. 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 It's not over. It ain't over. It just started. I just wanted for these idiots to see this signs, you know what I mean? And to see us here. And they know that, wait a minute, maybe they can get some conscience, which I doubt it. They have no conscience. They never had it since they came from Europe. You know when they came from Europe? 1492, Columbus lost his shoe. Did he lose his shoe? Columbus lost his shoe? Yeah, he lost his shoe. So he called us Indians. He said, everybody's an Indian now. He was going to the India. He lost his, you know. What are we going to do? Okay, let's go over here. So how can we do something that we don't know how the mission really went? Oh, we have a lot of these guys. You saw the paper the other day? The guy said that the, the, the earth was going to be destroyed. The end of the earth. The oh, May 20th. Yeah. May 21st rapture. Yeah. Can you imagine? Such an idiot. But then there, there are these. You got to have a lot of faith. Send me the money and I'm going to save you. How ridiculous. Did it? Anyway, here's the foot right here. And yet we have these. Look here. Yeah, these are broken too. So here's the foot. Now you can see. These are ancient, ancient, ancient designs. The damn uh, uh, BLM has rejected it. He says, no, that we made them. 
Yeah, I mean, the Google, they, we did Photoshop. You did it? Yeah, we did it. They, they did a Photoshop and it wasn't here. Yeah. So ridiculous, you know what I mean? So totally ridiculous. Definitely, you can see what we have, uh, this guy. You know. Yeah, Rob. Oh, here's our guy. Uh, you can see that they, they doctored up the, 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 the photographs. You know what I mean? You can do that. You can get a photo and you doctor them up, you know? So naturally, and you can see it, that it's, it's been on purpose uh, doctored up. So we can come up here now. You give up? You guys give up? Is that a bell? No, the, 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 this whole thing is a, the, the damn roads of the cars destroying our sights. You see? They have no respect. But this is an insect. Could be a cucaracha. And this is humans. So what we're showing here, the, the Mexicas and the, all the traditional people, we know that we're all related. Even the cucarachas are related to us. So that's why this is in the form of a human being and an insect. These are the five feathers. The five feathers mean quincunt. Quincunt is the one, two, three, four, and then the center. That's why we have the five feathers. That's what it means. The five is the center. That's why we go to the four directions. From the four directions we go east, north, west, south, and this is it. That's why we have five feathers. Got it now? So what does it look like? Like an mm -hmm. insect. And what else? With feathers on it? Yeah, and what else? A human with humans. A human feet. The human the bottom is human. See, because you know your that human that uh, is just exactly. That, that that insect is just as important as you. You know, right now the bees, the bees are the ones that brings us the honey. Mm -hmm. Now they, 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 all these pesticides are destroying the bees. So pretty soon we won't have the bees. The bees are just as important as you are. Do you bring honey? No, but they do. So anyway, that's what it is. That's why people have a, a misconcept of this. Now, where is he going? We're going to see. He goes right straight to that pass. He's going west. Why does he go west? Because he's going west because he goes to his father, the sunset. See, they're in the sunset. That's why the sunset every day is the he's same. Going to rest. It's it's a continuous cycle, continuous cycle. So we have four seasons, we have the four seasons, we have night and day, and there's five images of the Creator during the day. Six o'clock, nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. So you have to be right there in Yuma. You have some wonderful sights there, all over there. That's why the Cucapas are called the guardians of the, of the, of the Gulf of California. See? So, but this is all related. Doesn't matter, you, uh, the Mojaves call it Kumastamho, uh, Matavilia, and we say Wichilipochli and Tlaloc. Doesn't matter. We just have a different name, but it's the same principle, the same image. That's why we don't use the word God or devil. You know why? Because everything that we had was the devil, and everything the Europeans brought was the gods. So we just have, we say creator. He created you, 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 everybody here, created everybody. We were kind of secret, but how can we be secret if they're destroying these sites? So we can't keep it a secret no more. We gotta expose it to the world to let them know the atrocities the United States government is causing. Before it happens. Before it happens. But now they, they, we know that we're being threatened right now. You're seeing the, the, the actuality right now. You're seeing the destruction. They could care less. So now that's why we're going to expose it. So in two more months, the new book's going to be out. And you guys are going to be uh, months, very happy to read it. Because that's what I'm doing right now. Anybody know how to type real nice? 2012? That's a good question. Now 2012, the whole Aztec sunstone calendar is comprised of five suns. That's why it's called Quinto Sol. The Quinto Sol is five suns that has happened. One sun is 952 years is a sun. So when Quetzalcoatl, our guy, left, he left in the third sun, 
and he said the fifth son, the fourth son, he would be back. But there's that mountain over the part of the peak. You you just passed it there. Part of the peak is the blonde Quetzalcoatl, and over there Cortez Peak. Over there going to uh, by 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 uh, Tonapa. Tonapa means water in the desert. Tonapa. Anyway, so. They were waiting for Quetzalcoatl, the blonde, to come. Well, he came in the blonde. His name was Christopher Columbus, and then came Cortez. So what did they do? And Moctezuma told him, Tloque Nahuaque, mi casa es tu casa. Among all, we do all for the benefit of all. That's been our, 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 our philosophy. So Cortez liked this house, and he sat on it. He never did get off. So, now getting back to the original question, 2012, what happened to us? When Cortes did a number on all of us, and then came the, the British from, from, from England. Did us a number. Where are we at now? Few. How many are we? You can count us nearly. So that's going to happen to the United States. Nobody can own the world. You can think you own the world. Look how many people thought they owned the world. The British and the French and the, you name it. But what happened to them? Huh? What happened to Hitler? So, what's going to happen? The world's not going to end, but the system, the capitalist system, adios Jesus. You know, we have more, he knows, we have more prisoners per capita than any other country in the world. And that's democracy? Huh? I think that's idiotic. You know, why? Because now he's now he got the right answer. We got two prisons here. We got two prisons here. Huh? And nearly all <laughs> Chicanos and Negroes and minorities, you know what I mean? Why? Because we've been squish squash. You know, we don't know. But now, that's the only solution for our salvation will be that we regain our roots. Don't abandon your roots. Don't abandon tradition. That is the main. Yes, sir. So you say the system will fall. In, you say the, in 2012, the world won't end, but the system will end? The system will. The capitalist system. The United States cannot continue destructing our, our, the world and our sites. I read, uh, I read a book. I forgot which book it was called, but uh, they were saying that uh, the, the, the Aztecas were saying that uh, it's not the it's not the end of the world, even though some people said it was. But it was like the beginning of something new, the beginning of the uprising of our gente. Well, exactly. That's what you're doing right now. You're learning. But this is all non-violent. We're non-violent. I was one of the founders, also of the United Farm Workers in the old days. But anyway, no, no, we've never been violent. So they, 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 we're still non -violent. So the, the thing is, but the knowledge, la sabiduría, that's why it's called, when Cuauhtémoc's remains were, uh, were, were uh, uncovered over there in Iscateopan Guerrero, that was the birth of what we call the new knowledge. That's why we call ourselves Chicano, a Chicano. They were the defenders, they were the defenders of the culture when Cuauhtémoc was killed. So that's why a Chicano is one who wants to get his Look back, despite the fact that whatever uh, descendant you might have. Go ahead. So, so the word Chicano goes way back? Way back. Uh, they, so they, 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 were, they were, they were the, the, the vanguard of Cuauhtémoc. Mm, I didn't know that. Well, that's, a lot of people don't know that. It's deep. They, they think that Chicano, we made up the word. We didn't make up the word. Are you kidding? That's what Chicano means. They were the vanguard of Cuauhtémoc. Like they're, they're, like they're uh, the guard? The guard, the, the guard. personal guard. Chicksanots, they were called Chicksanots. And they were the last to die. Because they, 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 they were, were, well, his personal guard. Like, uh, you know who the personal guard of Pancho Villa was? Huh? Anybody? Los Dorados de Villa. They were his personal guard. And Zapata, you know about Emiliano Zapata? Zapata's personal guard were called Los Coroneles Chicanos. His special guard. So that's why the word Chicano is very important to us. But it's supposed to be with an X. An X. Because the X means the descending from Tamonchan to his chante. This is chante. <laughs> Got it? Give me some more questions. If you're in doubt that it's a sacred site, just look for the broken chip rock and you'll know that it was a site where they paid tribute back to King Mother Earth. I don't get involved in these rituals because. I don't want people to think that I'm a shaman or none of that. I'm just a guy that can take you some history. 
I got some facts to substantiate it with facts. You know what I mean? And so this is a fact. You're right now. You're in the middle of Cocopili, and there's a fact right there. They're trying to destroy all this. Give me some more questions. I'm trying to get a hold of that guy. His name's James Cameron. He's the guy that did that movie. So I'm trying to get a hold of him so I can, so I can bring him down. He, he knew his. Uh, we just his brought that up a while ago, huh? Avatar. Avatar. You yeah. did? No, no, that's uh, I, I, when we go back to Blythe. I'm going to show you the mountains. I'll so the, so they're destroying our sites, and then they're they're making money by watching, by having us, us watch them destroy our sites. Exactly. They uh, built the road over part of the part of it. Yes. Lap, right? Can you right. tell me about that? Well, that's the sun. The sun comes out. We all know in the east. That's why he's pursuing where the sun comes, and it's all part of when we descend to the west. So. But meanwhile, our spirit, we, the, 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 our physical body dies, and our spirit takes us to Mikran, and yet on, on Earth, we're taken to the, to the sunset. That's why there's the twins. So that what they did, they destroyed part of the sun. Just last week? Give or take just last week. We don't know the exact day, because like right now, I don't know how many, how long it'll take them to, to get the road all the way down to, to, uh, to uh, the highway. But it, it's been just last week. It's not 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 even eight, eight eight days ago. Was there part of it that you you needed to understand more, that you wanted to look at more and research more? Or? Well, most definitely, because uh, we, we, we can't know everything. We, we, we need more people to come, especially people from uh, you know the rest of our tribes here, the traditional people and the people from Mexico that know the story real good. Like this guy learned a lot in in, in prison because that's all he had to do was read the codices and read some of the books about Aslan. So, when you read them, and you know, like in Mexico, the people know about Cuauhtémoc, the people know about Quetzalcóatl. I don't have to tell them. There's, there's streets down in San Luis and all that, Quetzalcóatl streets, uh, Cuauhtémoc streets, uh, all this. So people understand, they, they know who Cuauhtémoc was. But here in the United States, when we go to the public schools, we don't know beans. So that's why we need more people to come from Mexico to intervene. The Mexicans down in Mexico City, they're the ones that know the story's real good. We urge the world to know that this is one of the most important struggles that we have ever, uh, ever encountered, is to preserve these sites so the future generations, seven generations, can know the truth following from this day forward. We, we came out here to, to support Alfredo and to save our, our culture. And uh, they, they, they came by and they, uh, they threw dust on us and they laughed at us. And I mean, we're not doing anything to them. We're not hurting them. So I don't see why they have to be uh, be mean. I just think all the money that the government is spending in other places should be spent on stuff like this for us, for our people to, to, con to preserve, just like they do with the Yosemite Park and all the other parks. Why can't they, reserve, why can't they preserve our spots? You know, this is our spots, not, not theirs. And we want to keep it our spot and we want to keep these lands the same. I mean, there's other places to build this. There's further places down the way here they could have bought off or used to, to build this place. Instead, they had to build it right next to a, our site. You know, right it's, it's not good, you know, and they took some of it off. It's not, that's not good neither. But the government's worried about everybody else except for what we, what we have. And especially us being the first people here in this area, we should have more, they should give us more respect. And like we give them respect. We serve the country. We go to the military. We are people dying in, in the war for them. But we don't get the same respect back, you know, and just get our, our lands tore up, you know. <laughs> it's not good. What we have right here is Quetzalcoatl sitting in the chair. 
this chair right here is this chair right here and here he has his handprint which are included in the codices the Florentine codices has that and this is the Borgia codices and he's looking straight over there which is west from here it's called Corn Springs and in Corn Springs is where the giants are the Atlantas the Atlantis are not, they're two big rocks that have the petroglyphs. They're designed that we can, uh, we can uh, uh, decipher them. But I brought this, especially for this, so we can take a picture right here. We are here in the chair of Quetzalcoatl. This chair is represented in the Borgia codices, which we have this banner right behind us. And he's looking west, and they tell him, what are you doing, there? why are you going? He says, I'm going to see my father. The fa his father was at the sunset and he was going to take him to the underworld. This is the chair of Quetzalcoatl and that hand that's right there is the hand that's in the codices, the Florentine codices. And they have said that this is a new chair and it's a chair that was made thousands and thousands of years ago. It's been destroyed and it's been rebuilt afterwards. So the corpse represents Quetzalcoatl, represents the cosmos, represents the Milky Way. So this is the chair because we have five endings and five beginnings. So there's five endings around the Colorado River and five beginnings as, as stipulated in the Aztec Sunstone calendar of the five suns. These are more facts that we have pertaining to the, the sacredness of these areas that right here is where the power lines are going to cross through on top. So a lot of this is going to be destroyed like it's being destroyed right now that we saw right now by where Cocopiti is, which is barely two miles north from here. Roller up or <laughs> Now he wanted to sit in the chair, see? Man, get that feeling. Get that feeling. Now when you read the stories, <laughs> you'll know what they're talking about. <laughs> see? You betcha. Bro, you, you, you got your camera? I'll take the picture. Nah, I ran out of film. Okay, any more questions? Is this all so, BLM? So so this all BLM, public okay. land. Except, so who's the, who, what public land? It's ours. It's ours. 